All right, so we have our very first guest, uh, the New York Times best-selling author, Michael Notrov. He just did a signing for us at the store. Uh, and as you know, I've been raving about this book, even even before I met the gentleman. <laughs> thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, thank and you. Thanks for having me for the signing. Oh, it no. Oh, yeah. it, was, it, was our, it was our honor. Uh, so, the... I can't even say anything more. I mean, it's it's like a perfect book. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I mean, the art is, is incredible, and mm -hmm. and I mean, we talked about this a little bit. Right. I mean, yeah. one of the things that was so cool about working on the book was just that um, how closely uh, Gustavo, mm -hmm. uh, Duarte, and I um, just sort of saw the characters the same way, you mm -hmm. know, and also right. just like the. The feel of the book, the tone of the book, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty sunny, you know. Yeah, definitely. Kind of yeah. A little retro in that way, mm -hmm. like we were both really big mm -hmm. Super Friends fans growing up and stuff, and and uh, and it was just really fun to work on this book, just right from the start. But then the other thing about it was, just as we went on, I, I saw more and more pages, just the level of trust that I had with with Gustavo, and I think that that. That's something that comes through in the book. You know, right. It's just that yeah. we were just pulling in the same direction, and uh, you know, I trust just trusted him um, to make the stuff look amazing, and he, he just did an awesome job. Yeah, it just looks like uh, you guys were having fun. Yeah, and I think that's the other thing too <laughs> is that we had a blast making this. I mean, I had a blast. Salvador had a blast. And I think you know, our editor too had not only had a blast herself, but also really encouraged us to have fun right. during the process. And I think that's another thing that sort of comes out mm -hmm. um, reading the book is that we have fun, you know. Like right. not, it's yeah. not like um, like they always say about comedians. Like comedians <laughs> are just like miserable people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're on stage and they kind of get people to laugh. But like this was not that. Like we had a blast making this book, and I think that's why it's a fun book to read. Yeah, it definitely shows. Uh, so there was. Um, um, like a slight influence we talked about downstairs about on spy 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 versus spy well it's funny i didn't know this at the time and yeah. it was something that Gustavo and i talked about more recently mm -hmm. i just asked him something came up and i was like did you like you know were you a fan of uh, spy versus spy right. that magazine and he loves that guy he uh, just really thinks that he's a genius and, and uh it was a big influence for for him as an artist and it's just something that i just sort of like forget why it came up but it was just something they came up and I, I just I sent him an, uh, an email. I was just like, you know, by the way, you know, I just wondered if you were, uh, if you, you know, that was an influence for you. And, and uh, now that he says it, it yeah. makes total sense. And yeah. you can definitely see it, especially like in his Joker mm -hmm. in there. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he loves the Joker. Yeah. Um, that sort of like quality. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's funny. You know, the Super Friends I mentioned, mm -hmm. Spy versus Spy. Yeah. I think for both of us, we we're just kind of wearing our hearts on our sleeves with this book. Okay. You know, just writing the characters that we love, mm -hmm. the way that we saw them. Mm -hmm. And for him, um, his his visual style, I mean, those are the, the things that are really near and dear to his heart, I think. Right, because like when you mentioned it, like you yeah. said, it made perfect sense. Yeah. Like, it, it didn't hit me until you mentioned it, though. It was, yeah, it yeah. took me a, I, yeah. I didn't, like, it had to come up, I forget, it was like yeah. an interview we were doing, and then right. I, I asked him afterwards, I yeah. just sent him a quick email. There's something that came up during the interview, and it just occurred to me that mm -hmm. it's just so, it such a good fit for his style. Right, yeah, definitely. And uh, there's like nine stories, Yeah. and I, I know by speaking to you before, I know which one's your favorite, but can you yeah. tell the audience? I, I, yeah, I mean, it is it is tricky, like, because, you know, if I'm thinking about one in particular, I remember how much fun we had making it, and then I, I'm tempted to say that, but for me, like, the Superman story is, like, is, it's kind of where the book came from, mm -hmm. you know, this idea of, um, you know, the, the most sort of, like, iconic character, the, sure. lar the mm -hmm. most larger-than-life character, Superman, and then to make him really friendly and sort of human is maybe the wrong words it's mm -hmm. Kryptonian but yeah. like accessible you know like yeah. um, and you know the, make, putting that as the first chapter and making it really for long stretches largely wordless like very physical yeah. uh, actions comedy mm -hmm. um, and that was important for me to like make this a really friendly accessible mm -hmm. entry into the book mm -hmm. so it's like the biggest character the biggest name right. but also 
you know, for younger readers or, or maybe more reluctant readers, mm -hmm. really light on words mm -hmm. as you go through it. Uh, you can, you know, really rely on the pictures that, mm -hmm. that draw you through the story. Um, and to me, that's what this book is about. It's mm -hmm. just like making these larger than life characters accessible right. to any reader, yeah. young, old, yeah. anything, but to even the youngest readers, even mm -hmm. readers who don't know mm -hmm. that much about them, to, right. to make them accessible sure. and communicate a little about mm -hmm. who they are. And for mm -hmm. me, the Superman chapter, you know, sets the tone for that. It's like what mm -hmm. I wanted to do with this book. So that's, mm -hmm. and that's always kind of going to be my favorite. Really? So yeah, like when I picked up the book, I, I first I thought it was, uh, when I was flipping through it, I thought it was for kids. And I started to read the Superman chapter yeah. and it just drew me in. And then I realized this is the same feeling I got the very first time I started reading comics as a kid. Like it drew me in and, awesome. yeah. and, 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 and no joke, probably the, one of the best books I read in about 10 years. That's awesome. It, it is. That. Yeah, no, it's, it's coming from the heart. It, it's so amazing. And everybody I spoke to, everybody I recommended, kind of said yes said the oh, same thing awesome. yeah. and we were referencing the book even <laughs> before i met you I, before i even knew who you were yeah you know i was referencing the book to other people saying this is how you do it you know it's That's clean awesome. simple yeah, yeah and yet you know you get the humor and the you know well a lot of that too is just yeah. like i just want to get out of this yeah. novel's way you know mm -hmm. what i mean i'm not like one of these like writers he's like to try and like pack too much on the page you know like right. i knew like there's some you know some some jokes and stuff mm -hmm. i wanted to have in there but basically you know and, and the, like the classic DC approach, like mm -hmm. they, they tell us is the words are additive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like oh. if it's a good comic, you should just be you should be able to follow the story just by the, the pictures, right you know the visual, I mean? yeah. And um, and I really took that to heart. You know what okay. I mean? Like especially with the, you know the style stuff mm -hmm. is so fun. Mm -hmm. and so part of me was just mm -hmm. like you know as a reader, but also right. I mean as a writer, but also just as a reader, I wanted to see what he was going to do. Right. You know with these characters yeah. with these pages. So every yeah. time I got a new batch of pages, in, it was. It was really fun. So this uh, this book was really a nice mix of um, familiarity yeah. and like, trusting him to yeah. the, see the characters and the scenes kind of the same way I did, but also willingness to be surprised, like, right. willingness to, yeah. to be a little surprised by yeah. where he went with right. it, or what he did with yeah. expression or something yeah. like that. Um, because right again, mm -hmm. like I mean, now the comic book is like mm -hmm. it's. It's not just mm. the writers, it's not just the artists, it's mm. collaboration. Sure. Uh, and we definitely, I feel like, both had, both had input here. Yeah. And we like both, you know, when you see the finished product, it's not mine, right. it's not his, right. it's ours. Definitely, yeah. It's, it's a, like, like I said before, it's like a perfect marriage. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, the, and like, you didn't pick him, right? No, they assigned him. Yeah. But, you know, I will say, I mean, they've, been, they've been doing this for a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, like, yeah. Artists and, they hit a grand slam. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, they'd seen my script already. Yeah. Most of it. And, yeah. and, uh, and at least the outline, yeah. you know, like, not, not the final script, but like, yeah. so they knew that mm -hmm. a good idea of the mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. And so then they're trying to find someone who's going to match that tone right. and that style, that mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. So they, they were going off something, you know right, what I mean? Like, right, um, right. At that point. Right. Um, and... Um, and he'd done some stuff with mm -hmm. him before. I mean, uh, his Bizarro miniseries is right, amazing. Right, yeah. Um, and so they, I think, yeah. it just, it just struck them that that would be a good match. And they, they were really, they really uh, just, just hit the you know, part of that. Yeah. That definitely. They, I, whoever was the editor should get a raise. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he, he outdone yeah. himself. Yeah. yeah. Sarah, Sarah Miller, is, uh, she did a, a fantastic job. And, and yeah. again, I mean, um, a lot of the stuff that we really leaned into there, and right. kind of just having fun with the pages, yeah. and a lot of one of the things a lot of people mentioned about this yeah. book is the um, the bursts, right? Like, yeah, you know, like yeah. The little, yeah. Um, they're not exactly sound effects, but yeah. they're like the little comment. You know, that like, was my, my that was my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. Like it, when the you know the her uh, I think uh, her hammer was clean. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was like, like oh yeah. yeah, you couldn't even hear it, you know. Yeah, and it was just like it was just a fun thing yeah. to do because um, uh, and, and and she was just like go with it you know what i mean yeah like, it was just okay. something it was like i was kind of had it in the script mm -hmm. you know and it was i was kind of like mm -hmm. you know is this okay it's not right. really a sound but <laughs> it's like it's kind of like we're treating it like a sound effect kind of we we started calling them mm -hmm. um sfx it was like sound effects is just sfx right script. right um so we call them uh sfx bursts oh okay it's like, gotcha know? yeah and um it's kind of retro too a little bit it really is yeah, it has yeah. it's well it almost kind of yeah. reminds you of that batman yeah. like the yeah you're right you know exactly like yeah yeah um but it's not as campy it's not as campy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's a little more versatile yeah. because that those are just yeah. sound effects 
Yeah. But like this is like mm -hmm. we could use them as little like yeah. little like comments, yeah. little like whatever. Definitely, yeah. Um and also I think you created a new genre. <laughs> I mean, I know, right? yeah. But it's also it just um the letter on this yeah. West Abbott yeah. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um and it, it allowed him to really do his thing. Oh, you know I mean? okay. It's not what it's, I worked out some of those, but like yeah. most of this was, was Wes. And mm. so it's just like a way to have a guy, you know, a guy who's just really, really good yeah. to give him like something to really sink his teeth into. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Like he did some amazing letter and mm. the sound effects and stuff right. like that, but giving him the course is just like yeah. a whole other thing that he can really, um, you know, yeah. run with. Yeah. And that was, that was fun. Like the, yeah. the color in here, Marcelo. Yeah. And uh, she's also from Brazil? Oh, Marcelo is, yeah, yeah. he's the dude. Oh, the dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, I apologize. No, I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. You're going to get me in trouble. Yeah, oh boy. And Marcelo. Yeah, let's um, edit that out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Marcelo and, and Gustavo. It's yeah. funny because Marcelo right. and Gustavo yeah. are both from Sao Paulo. Wow. Is that like the song? Yeah, yeah. Gustavo, Sao Paulo. Yeah. But um, uh, they've known each other for a long time. Okay. We worked together before. Yeah. And, you know, obviously that's a really close relationship. You know, like really? An artist and okay. colorist. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you're going to. Were they just paired? Like coincidentally? They work together. Oh, okay. So I think they're yeah. a little bit of a package deal. Oh, okay. Sometimes, at least yeah. something like this. Okay. It works um, though. It works yeah. so well. Yeah. It's like they just like read their mind. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like, right. It's just like a little bit like that thing with like Grant Morrison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Partly, like, right. Know, that's like, true. Yeah. Yeah. They're both from like, right. the same city. And Is that right? And, yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. They were like, I don't know exactly. Neighbors or yeah. whatever. And Probably and drinking, drinking buddies, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. So they knew each other so, so well. And you could see, you could yeah. see it. Like I read some of those. One of the mm -hmm. things I did to get ready was yeah. read some scripts. Yeah. Um, my first draft novel. And yeah. I read the scripts that mm -hmm. um, Morrison did for yeah. for Quietly, and, yeah. and uh, um, they're like letters, really impersonal. And yeah. I didn't realize at the time mm -hmm. until a little bit later that they mm -hmm. knew each other so so well. Right. They had known right. each other for so long. Yeah. And lived in the same place. Wow. In the same country and all these things, and so that's interesting. But it makes sense. Yeah, that like, definitely makes sense. That like really direct, yeah. informal. Yeah friendly mm -hmm. sort of letter between yeah. friends style yeah. that yeah. he writes those scripts. Yeah. That's what I was shooting for and okay. it worked really well with yeah. this because yeah. Gustavo and I were just mm -hmm. like, yeah, it was just like writing a letter to Gustavo kind of. Yeah. Wow. I mean just uh just uh, I'm doing a segue. Yeah. Uh, Multiversity by Morrison and Quietly, one of the greatest books you'll ever read, so please read it. It is a work of art. But let's get back to this. Yeah, totally. uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so the colorist also added so much to this project. I mean, it's like if it's so much of this this book, I feel like is about like this mm -hmm. the feel of it, right? right? Like right. The, 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 the yeah. positivity of yeah. it, like that, like just like it's just like a really earnest book. It's not mm -hmm. dark. It's not cynical. It's not mm -hmm. you know, which you know, in comics it does it does stand out a little bit that for that and and the most immediate like communication of that mm -hmm. honestly, is the colors. Right. It's like vibrant, really sure. popping sure. colors. You know what yeah. I mean? Like really um not like not like shades of gray you know? no like, no not, like, not, yeah murky or shadowy yeah. it's like it's vibrant and it's yeah. it just like and that but it's is, very subtle though yeah that's right. true yeah and that, i mean and within that yeah. like you can mm -hmm. i mean there's some really mm -hmm. we could really get it but mm -hmm. it's like just cho interesting choices that you yeah. make you yeah. know like um mm -hmm. and um and that's it's just like it's just fun to see that yeah. was honestly one of the coolest things about mm -hmm. this for me as mm -hmm. my first graphic novel is to see what everyone mm -hmm. brought to the table right you know gustavo yeah. you know the artist is going to be right you know so important so sure. central to the sure. storytelling right but the, the you know the colors mm -hmm. the lettering yeah you know what i mean like yeah. um you know the, yeah. and the, the, the editor like mm -hmm. all what everyone brought mm -hmm. individually yeah. to the table and then what that adds up to yeah like see like uh the finished book was yeah. really kind of emotional for me because yeah. it's just like all this work right but also all these these people these yeah like really talented people yeah having their say and yeah. doing what they do so well yeah and then it just becomes this one cohesive unit you know what i mean like yeah it was it was awesome so so, so you think when you wrote it and you had something in your mind was it your vision almost realized yes oh, I mean, wow it's like you're what did he surpass it? Changes once you start getting yeah. pages in. You know, oh, that's true. You start like yeah. you start 
like the more pages I yeah. saw from Gustavo, the more yeah. I would start picturing these things mm -hmm. in his style. Right. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, kind of okay. You, like you start to switch a little bit? Yeah. And so oh, obviously like the script comes in first and right. then you start seeing this you see like the uh -huh. um, pencil sketches, uh -huh. and you make some notes in that, and now uh -huh. you start seeing the pencils okay. and the inks and then and then later in the process. Mm -hmm. So I'd already written like the, the beginning of the book when right. I, I saw the first Gustavo pages. Gotcha. And now I have uh, like a firmer picture in my head. Gotcha. You know? And then even later in the process, mm -hmm. you see the letters. Right. You know? And so by the end of the book, like by the beginning of the book, mm -hmm. it's really kind of abstract. Like I'm mm -hmm. sitting there at my desk, I'm picturing mm -hmm. Superman and Wonder Woman mm -hmm. and whatever. And I'm, I have like that mm -hmm. default image in, in right. my head. Just like everyone right, right, right. these heroes, right? Right. Um, and I'm seeing it maybe that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm seeing versions I've seen before. Mm -hmm. But by the end, you know, I'm scripting these pages and I'm seeing the characters in Gustavo's style. You know oh. what I mean? I'm seeing when I'm writing one of those, you know, SFX burst or sound effect, I like, I'm, I'm kind of imagining what Wes might do with it. Wow. You know, even you're thinking like, oh, he'll have fun with this one. You know what I mean? Like That's that. Very interesting. So you guys are kind of feeding off each other. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's just like, you just sort of incorporate yeah. it into your, your imagination. Right, you know I mean? right. When you're, yeah. Because so much of it, this process is yeah. visualizing. Yeah. I say like the other th mm -hmm. thing I've done, like my mm -hmm. first 12 books were, mm -hmm. uh, were prose, you know, middle right. grade, right. adult novels. Right. And then you're doing everything. Yeah. If you want the reader to see mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. or feel something or right. know something, you mm -hmm. have to describe it in words. That's true. You know, That's there's true. no artist to, you know, yeah. to do, you know, the heavy lifting for yeah. you. So you have to do all the work, but yeah. here there are other people involved. And so that, how you visualize it, it changed, you know, for me at least changed as the mm -hmm. book went on. The more I saw of his, his pages, the more I, when I started seeing the, the colors and what yeah. we were dealing with, right. uh, what kind of palette were in right. all of that. And uh, when I started seeing the letters, mm -hmm. then I could start seeing, visualizing these things in that style, in mm -hmm. that way. Interesting. And it was really, it was, it was really fascinating for me. And actually one thing that's really yeah. cool now is going in, into Dear Super Villains. Right. Right. The sequel. The sequel. Yeah. 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 It's coming out next November, by the way. Yes. Or next exactly. fall. Next, next fall. fall. Yeah. Fall 2020. Yeah. So, um, but um, with the same team. Same. Oh, so, that's great. Right. I was going to ask for, about that. Yeah. So it's like, so going in, yeah. you, like I already, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. page one, right. you know what I mean? Right. I can already sort of think what they're going to do with this. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, okay. And of course, you'll see, it's not surprising. I have even yeah. more SFX first and even yeah? more. Like, oh, man. You know, and the colors is like, because it's like you know, Hall of Doom, right. Swamp. Right. Yeah. So you start thinking about these. Yeah, can you articles. reveal that? Can you reveal how many characters going to be and which character? So it's too soon. Don't do it. It's a little too soon. Yeah. Too soon. Okay. I mean, oh, yeah. Okay. Like I say, you know, it's Legion yeah. of Doom. Yeah. It's kind of an unusual lineup for Legion yeah. of Doom. And I will say that it'll surprise people yeah. in a couple of cases yeah. who is in there yeah. and in a couple of cases who isn't in there. Right. But there is a Joker, right? I'm not, I'm not going no, to No, because you, know, like, you know why? I've seen it on his Instagram. He was drawing Joker in that style. So. Well, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... I'm foreshadowing you know, here. because the, there's the, some pages, yeah. Harley pages, yeah. at the back of uh -huh. your Justice League oh, okay. your preview, and mm -hmm. Joker's in that. So, Joker's in it, but yeah. the extent of his involvement, mm -hmm. that's what we're not going to... I see. Okay, that. gotcha. But like, he, yeah, All right. So, he's in there. So, you got to buy the book. But is he... Member, mm -hmm. is he oh, is okay. He like, is he a part of other people's stories? Oh, kind of okay. But it's like, and so that's the thing. It's like, who are going to be the, the main members, mm -hmm. the core members okay. of the Legion of Doom? Who's mm -hmm. going to be um, uh, in sort of more supporting characters? Right. So maybe there are going to be a couple little Easter eggs in there okay. for other people. Like, that's kind of fun. You know wow. what I mean? You can, you can tweak that. Just like with the mm -hmm. Justice League, like mm -hmm. the decision to have mm -hmm. um, Hawker on. Right. And for yes to Hawkgirl and for yeah. example no Martian Manhunter right. or something like that so, right. and then that's that's a decision mm -hmm. you make and then mm -hmm. people want to talk to you about mm -hmm. you know but um, obviously mm -hmm. a lot of it's non-negotiable right like with your Justice League Superman yeah. Batman Wonder Woman yeah. you know all of that but like mm -hmm. um, but again there are two things like mm -hmm. what characters are in there mm -hmm. and then what versions mm -hmm. of those characters what yeah. the character sketch is going to look like you right. know, because obviously there are going to be a lot of different versions a lot right. of different um, and so that's fun. I and mean, a lot of that is, mm -hmm. is Gustavo mm -hmm. is like, you know, I get to, mm -hmm. you know, sort of like fire the first shot there and say, mm -hmm. okay, who, who are the members? Yeah. But okay. then he gets to fire the next shot and yeah. say, okay, here's how I'm seeing that. Oh, you know okay. Like, like, that's oh, interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's wow. collaborative in that okay. sense. And, and, um, 
like what you did with Harley Quinn was so fun. Yeah. Um, because it's it's interesting because this is you know a book that we want to be very mm -hmm. comfortable for even very young kids. Gotcha. You know? And honestly, you know the energy is going to be a little mm -hmm. different with villains. Than sure. Heroes, but yeah. still we want very young. It'd be fine for mm -hmm. very young kids. And so yeah. Harley Quinn. How do you do Harley Quinn? Because yeah. there are versions of Harley Quinn that that would be hard. You know That's what I mean? That's true. Her, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we wanted. Are, are you going for the anime one or the movie version? Well, see exactly. So, like, so, and actually, you can see in the in yeah. of, um, your dress room what we did. Oh, okay. Right? So, it's just like still that energy, that mm -hmm. sort of dangerous energy, mm -hmm. and that sort of, but of sort of, you know, like she's got a Gotham High mm -hmm. like yeah. jacket on. Yeah. She cross out and put low. Okay. And stuff like that, and like, um, so, yeah, like how how you you see these characters mm -hmm. iconic characters who mm -hmm. work through so many different yeah. incarnations is that who i think it is yeah wow look at that look at that yeah that's <laughs> that's um yeah and now there's like a bazillion copies of that embarrassing school photo no there. no yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, it's bad enough like you know with school photos back then yeah. you would get like a, a sheet right you know, you get a couple oh yeah you get like a few like yeah wallet size yes like one yeah big one yeah stuff like that and that was it yeah and, and no weird <laughs> or anything like that now like one of those little wallet size things has been reproduced a bazillion can you imagine times that can you imagine unbelievable technology yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's incredible wow. yeah. so you, you think after the the sequel would there be a third trilogy maybe yeah i mean it would be super yeah. fun to do but yeah. it's like dear um mm -hmm. justly yeah and then dear super villains is yeah. really like the kind right. of like the obvious follow-up right right you know the the third one yeah. is is less obvious so it's right. something we're 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 turning over you know okay. I mean? like what mm -hmm. what would be the third step in that in mm -hmm. that journey right because there's also this other stuff mm -hmm. other stuff to do other characters mm -hmm. out there you know yeah. what I mean? and, and uh and those are really compelling too mm -hmm. you know so what the kind of stuff? yeah mm -hmm. well, exactly right <laughs> you're mercenaries yeah it's sort of halfway in between right like, <laughs> It's like you do some little heroes for hire, a little bit of like, <laughs> right, like, yeah, right, a little bit of um, the good guys, the bad guys. But anyway, so it's it's like it's not as, as clear cut like what right. that next step would be, and so right. um, it's something we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really, really looking forward to right and mm -hmm. deep in in your super villains right yeah. now, and it's fun. It's a fun yeah. thing to write. It's yeah. going to be a little bit bad. Yeah, like not a pun bad. Right, this is still out. All okay, ages. it's still. It's a very safe walk on the wild side. Okay. Is how I, I describe it, um, yeah. but it's fun. It's yeah. super fun to like, yeah. just be a little mischievous. Sure. A little have these yeah. uh, these characters making some bad decisions. <laughs> Maybe there's some yeah. consequences yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it, so it's a different mm -hmm. different take. It's a different mm -hmm. energy. Um, so I think when people if they read Dear Justice League mm -hmm. and then you know next year they pick up Dear Super Villains, they'll recognize them as this you know same you know series. Right. But also recognize that it's mm -hmm. a different, mm -hmm. little bit different look, little mm -hmm. bit different energy, right. little bit different feel, right. which makes sense. Right, right. definitely. Like, just one thing in um, uh, Dear Super Villains, mm -hmm. most of the kids who are writing to the Super Villains mm -hmm. don't give their last name. Oh, like, they're a guy, they're a that's funny. Like, maybe a last initial. Like, right. You know, and, that makes and, perfect sense. You know you're right, like, right. Anonymous, sure, like, right. If you're going to like, yeah. write into yeah. you know, like, yeah. Lex Luthor, so yeah, yeah. Gonna, you know, like, <laughs> you know, we're Superman shirt. Sure. You know, yeah, you know, sure, like, right. You know, like, make perfect sense. Yeah, like, here's my full yeah. name, and here's a little picture of me. Yeah, whatever, but like, yeah. you run into a villain, maybe right. you got to be a little bit more mm -hmm. arms length. Right, right, know? right. Sure. So just a different, yeah. different energy. And, yeah. Um, yeah, really, really fun to do. But mm -hmm. one of the things that's so fun about doing mm -hmm. Justice League is yeah. just being just mm -hmm. earnest, just hard. You know, hard yeah. on sleeve. We love these characters and, and and really just sharing that it shows oh, yeah, yeah yeah i mean yeah. the love and the the care and the honesty is it yeah. comes through i mean what, one of the things is like yeah. we want to make them accessible yeah but at no point are we trying to like tear them down or anything right, like that right. and the flaws in here are yeah. really gentle a little more yeah. overconfident yeah. maybe a little vanity yeah just things that kids would recognize in yeah. themselves or right. in their friends right you know and just yeah. like it wouldn't make them think less of their friends mm -hmm. doesn't make them think yeah. less of these heroes and and i just gotta say what a value it is it's uh nine 99 you get nine complete stories and look at the thickness uh and the, the stuff in the back is super yeah. fun too yeah like, yeah we, we did that and that was just like because we were just wanting to keep going we like <laughs> we love this book and so we did little, like little like, character sheets wow. and, like, letters from my younger self yeah like, just like, see that 
just <laughs> extra stuff in the back just because we could not tear ourselves away from this book the best bargaining <laughs> comics and the best book you'll ever read oh thank you very much <laughs> i really appreciate that so uh you want to plug uh any of your other books yeah well i, I will mm -hmm. say so i've got a, a new book out mm -hmm. um on thin ice and that's like yeah. the uh, contemporary sort yeah. of realistic middle grade right. novel yeah uh, is that from scholastic from scholastic yeah, yeah. yeah. my my first book yeah. books all from scholastic okay. uh, this one is kind of this mm -hmm. is a modern response mm -hmm. to the hunchback of notre dame yeah which is oh book, okay but a book that hasn't maybe like aged super well right um and so um it's sort of like more mm -hmm. of a, a modern take on mm -hmm. some of those the same themes mm -hmm. and like you'll see if you look closely there's like yeah a, like a sort of like flawed father figure right. absent mother figure like right. oh so okay like some of that going on all right um, but you got to feel for the character a little bit yeah oh yeah. And exactly instead of like the you know quasimodo yeah he's treated almost like an animal like right exactly like an yeah animal. yeah like this is a really human man wow interesting really, who's having mm. a really hard time but mm. then hopefully you really feel mm. for mm -hmm. um and that was fun that was a real six-year process wow like I went through a lot of versions to try to get to the heart of that. I story. could imagine, yeah. Like sometimes you yeah. just get it sure. right, right. Just try, and then yeah. sometimes it's 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 like it's running away from you. But yeah, it took six years, and we really got our arms around that story. Okay. That just came came out a week before Dear Justice. Oh, okay. And I was mentioning it's, yeah. it's just interesting because it's so yeah. easy to talk about yeah. Dear Justice. Yeah. And it's like people come to me; they yeah. want to talk about yeah. it. They really respond yeah. to it. It's it's a little harder to talk about, like sort of a gritty middle grade novel, right, you know? right, right. Um, but I, I love that book too. I okay, think nice and, and that and that's also for the young audience. Yeah, that's middle grade, so it's okay. you know, same age, like middle school, basically. Okay. Um, got some young adult out there. Okay. Um, it's yeah, I wrote a book mm. like eight years ago now, mm. trapped. It's about um, yeah. a group of kids right. trapped in their high school during a huge blizzard. Right. And every winter, yeah, people find that book. It's Is that right? It's okay. Going strong. It's like for it's it's really done really well for eight eight solid years and and uh, um, but every winter it gets a little spike. Like oh, the first okay. Snowfall, people start like oh, I hear a book about that snowstorm or whatever. Okay. So that's <laughs> that's my YA. Um, yeah. that's it just like kind of just going strong and, yeah. and uh, my new one on the nice for a little bit yeah. and then of course yeah, yeah. The, the graphic novel has been so much fun to work on and then there was a tomb one right yeah tomb quest is yeah. like you know I've always been super into ancient right. Egypt it's, yeah. it's, like, it's like that magic and mystery yeah. of ancient Egypt but yeah. set in the modern world yeah. like the mummies at the museum are waking up and yeah. this magic is, is, is mm -hmm. coming back into the world and right. they have sort of like this globe trotting mm -hmm. adventure these yeah. uh, two kids should figure out what it is mm -hmm. and of course it's trying to find his mom right 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 she's like a curator yeah. in the museum it's, it's just like that was a really fun adventure and honestly i think that that was really um a good experience for writing uh graphic novels and super okay heroes. wow like okay kind of like globe trotting right like right adventure right where you're trying to find what are the rules what are yeah. the limits yeah and that was yeah tomb quest five book series really fun to work on and also fun yeah and just in that i you can like instead mm -hmm. of like writing a book and then creating that whole world and mm -hmm. those characters and just walking away and creating a whole new world with okay. whole new characters yeah. this was a chance for five books to mm -hmm. like get to know these characters mm -hmm. better you know like to, it was like almost going to school with them for five years wow every every book you get to know them a little bit better yeah um, is, is that tough when you go from uh, one series and then jump into another character and then do that um yeah it, it can be i mean right. it's just like it's you gotta shift gears right a little bit you get so immersed yeah. in that world you're yeah. writing it you're visualizing uh -huh. it every right. day right and then you just like it's like clean break now mm -hmm. you're on to another one you're mm -hmm. getting it's a process of like getting to know these characters gotcha you know, even though you're creating them you're really right. kind of getting to know and the more right. time you spend right. with them the better you get to know them mm -hmm. and the weird thing is mm -hmm. once you know them absolutely as well as you ever have mm -hmm. at the end of the book Mm. you just walk away and create new ones it's, it's, oh. just, it's a weird thing you know, okay like, i can see why some people like to do series and yeah it can be hard to walk away from right. these characters you get right. really close with um and so did it end at five or yeah it ended at five. Oh, it ended at five oh, okay it ended at okay <laughs> really oh yeah. boy so, all right yeah, then we did not have <laughs> no half measures there yeah um but that was fun it was yeah. my first time doing a series yeah. so so you don't have like hollywood knocking at your door uh they you know <laughs> like hollywood does that thing where it's yeah. like they'll like ring your doorbell and yeah. run away oh <laughs> boy yeah they don't like give you a check first or yeah, like no, buy no, no. dinner uh -oh. no nothing right, like but, that but it's like yeah i've had like a lot of mm -hmm. interest over the years and mm -hmm. it's just like there's just a lot of steps yeah. in the process before right it actually right a, a movie or a right show. right and it's just like and so 
yeah, there's been there was an interest in mm-hmm. in a number of those books, Trek mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, it's, you know, mm-hmm. several of the others and yeah. Polaris, my right. book before that, right? Um, before mm-hmm. um, it's just like there's a lot of steps. And, gotcha. And just be sure. professional about it, right? And, and, right and positive and how yeah. it happens and yeah. if it falls apart at some point yeah you just you know wait for the next sure ring on the doorbell and yeah yeah sure and probably it'll probably happen when you least expect it i think that's that's yeah. true and yeah. i've been doing this for a long time so i yeah. know a lot of friends who that has happened before yeah um and it just it hasn't worked mm-hmm. out for me quite yet but it's okay people keep coming around yeah so i feel like sooner or later one of these things will work out. <laughs> definitely yeah. i mean it's just a matter of time right that's what I keep <laughs> <myself>. yeah <laughs> Well, I guess uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you so much. And trust me, buy this book, the greatest book you'll ever read. I guess the greatest book I read in the last 10 years. And thank you so much for being gracious. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, and yeah, I think if um, you like these characters, um, you, will, you will enjoy this book. Definitely. All right.